Hi, this is James Gardner, the Cine Tech Geek, and I'm at CinemaCon 2016 with Will Hammond of Real D. Now, an interesting issue here is that Real, Ham um, Real D is bringing out a screen. They're very much known for their 3D. But so, why are we bringing out a screen? Our company is founded on um, the the idea that the better we can make the visual experience. This is for 3D. For for anything. Right. The better we can make the visual experience for, for customers, the more they're going to go to the movies, right? So, um, yes, the company was founded on 3D. Um, we've been we've just celebrated our 10-year anniversary. We you know, we started off with 100 screens 10 years ago, Chicken Little. We now have 28,000 screens. Um, but during that process, we've always looked at what makes this experience better. Um, we all know that light, the more light there is on the screen, whether it's 2D, 3D, makes a better experience. That's right, yeah. Uh, much better, um, and that's why you go to the movies. You want you want the most immersive experience. So, our technicians have been looking at the technology chain for um, all the time. What are the areas that we can improve the whole experience, and we, from capture all the way through to delivery, mm. and we have some technology that actually is you know um, image based to improve the quality of actual images. Um, and the one area that we started looking at about seven eight years ago was the screen. Um, you know, silver screen for polarization um, hasn't changed. It's got more refined, but there have been no quantum leaps in, no. in the actual screen. That's right. um, so the guys started off about seven years ago looking at the issues with silver screen. Um, and they quickly realized that having a vinyl substrate flake that you apply through you know, spraying it on um, has its limitations. And we've kind of reached the, the limit of the limitations. So they realized really quickly that in order to make the screen much more efficient, they actually had to manufacture the screen. So um, what we're talking about here is a new silver screen with a completely new manufacturing technology. It's actually not a silver screen. It's, not. It, it's a matte screen. It's pretty close to a white screen. Right. Um, it's completely different technology. The way that it's made is part of the secret of it. So is it, is it used for polarized in 3D? Or? Yes, it is. Yeah. Okay. It, so but, it's but not it, a silver screen, but it, it acts it has the same purpose as a silver a, screen. Absolutely. Oh wow. Okay. So if you look at a silver screen up up close on a on a micro, uh, microscopic level, yes. um, you will see that they're like little silver flakes, yep. and the way that, that you can't really control how they land. So you'll have dark areas in that the light gets trapped. Um, there are two things that really that we set out to do was one is how do we get much better you know, luminance back to the audience. So silver screen, what light you put on it gives you 50% of that back. That's right. Half of it gets bounced around and stuck in there. And then the other half, um, well not half, another part of it goes through the perfs. The perfs that your sound comes through the screen. Um, one of the things that we've done, we have uh, laser perfs now, they're 150 microns small. Um, or what's commonly called micro perf. Yeah, so it's a micro perf, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Um, so normal perf is about a millimeter and these are 150 microns, so they're right. minute. What that allows, if you think about like a screen, and you've got, um, that becomes a texture. Your perfs are a texture on a silver yeah, screen. So now there is no texture at all, obviously helping that plane disappear. And also there, there's a lot of, you can get more A problems due Correct. to the perf. Yeah, if your uh, pixels align up with the, with the holes, you That's get right. some more array. Right. That's exactly right. So we've created these micro, micro perfs. They're, they're, you can, if you get close up, you can see them, otherwise you can't see them at all. Um, doesn't change the sound, because you can have more of them, on, obviously, in the same space, but really helps the texture of the screen. The other thing is with the screen and the way that it's manufactured, it's actually, um, it's molded. So instead of having a, a substrate and then applying yep. um, the flake to it, the screen is the molded surface. Wow. Um, and then we have a, so it becomes, it looks basically like an undulating, undulating hills mm -hmm. um, when you close up. Um, so it's not the flaky sort of thing you'd see in the micro, in, in the very good close up, it's more of a very smooth it's undulating. Very smooth. Yeah. Almost looks like a um, sort of alien type yeah. <laughs> sort of landscape thing right. without rocks. Um, so, so, so that's the big thing about that. So you're taking away the texture. Yeah. Um, when you see the screen and side by side with the silver screen, you realize that you actually, you see the silver screen. Now with the image on it, you don't know where the screen starts and stops. And obviously that helps your immersive experience. It's making that visual experience so much better. It's a much better looking screen. But, the, the, but let's say like 
the big thing about this screen to me is yeah. an ex you know representing the exhibitor interest in this yeah. discussion is the fact that if I do need a silver screen for my 3D presentations yes. um, the vignetting on the screen is pretty amazing compared mm -hmm. to what we were had before with the other silver screens. Yes. How was that achieved? How did you to improve the vignetting so much for the screen? So um, the you know, obviously one of the important things in you know you have a, a big theater, right? Yeah. And if you get there early enough, you sit in the middle, and That's it's all right. great. That's right. That's right. Um, so standard silver screen, the half um, viewing, you know, half gain angle, that's where it starts to fall off. That's right. Um, you know, the image is not as good. So on, we have two skews. We have a two point two gain, and that's about forty degree viewing angle. Right. A silver screen is twenty degrees. That's right. Yeah. So if you think about how much, if you're sitting on the side, you got there late, you know, traffic and parking and all that stuff, which is always part of our experience your images are so much better. So that's a really important part of this. Yes. We have a 3.0 ga gain screen, that's 30 degrees, so it's better than a silver screen. Um, the other thing that, about the screen that, that I think is um, really remarkable is if you think about, with the flakes, it's a texture. That's right. Right, you actually have, it's, yes. it's a textured screen. You take those, that texture away, your image is sharper mm. because you, there's less you know, it's in, not, the, the I think screen to break is, down the side of the that's image. That's right. Well, the screen is really the texture makes noise, and that Correct. noise transfers into the yeah. image. So that, that's I can understand that as a yeah. technical person. That, that's how that, that breaks down. Yeah. Um, but the way you're describing it as well, it leads me to the question. And one big thing about silver screens in the past is installation and shipment is actually very difficult mm -hmm. because you can't fold them because Correct. of this 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 flakiness. If you fold it, it just damages it. Yeah, it damages. Right. And, and, so, so this screen is actually, it's similar. Right. You actually, we create the screen um, in, in full, roll it up, and uh, it's the biggest, longest FedEx truck you've ever seen right. that this thing arrives <laughs> in. Um, we actually stand it up and then, and then you know, put it up. So it, it, it too cannot be bended. Yep. This screen is very, very rigid. And one of the reasons for that is with laser, you get speckle. Yep. And we've created an electromagnetic um, uh, vibrator that actually vibrates the screen and completely gets rid of uh, speckle. So that's another reason for making the substrate, the screen, the substrate, is that it allows you to get rid of speckle, which obviously with laser is, you know. So let's discuss that a little bit more because sure. I think people need to understand that. The traditionally, screens are quite flexible in the way Correct. they're designed. So when we've had the screen shakers, um, we'd have to have quite a few to, to um, to negate the fact that the screen would absorb the vibrator's yeah. um, movement. When you've got this complete substrate across the whole screen, the screen becomes more rigid, I would imagine. It's much more rigid. So yeah. one vibrator can actually potentially do the whole screen. Yeah. Well, we have, um, you can do it with, we have, I think on a 70 foot screen, we'll have um, eight at the bottom and eight at the top. Right. We could get away with four. Yep. But most of it's redundant. That's right, because um, that's that's the, that's the misgivings with vibrators is that correct. people can see them as a moving part. They're not so much a moving part, but they're perceived as it because they vibrate. Well, these these ones actually don't touch the screen. Really, uh, it's electromagnetic that moves wow. the screen. So, so that's we don't have that many moving parts. <laughs> don't have any moving parts. Um, we just have moving electrons. So <laughs> one one of the things that I I'm very proud of is you know being part of Real D and I think it, the success of Real D yeah. and certainly of the 3D system. Is how simple the things are. Yeah. You know, the more complicated it is, the more there is to go wrong. That's right. Um, that's always been a focus. You know, is it as simple as sliding the thing in front of the projector as the 3D? Yes, it is. That's right. Um, so the screen, the you know the um, the actuate actuate um, the things that sorry the actuators the actuators that's yeah. what I was looking for. Um, they're so simple. Mm. Um, and they work incredibly. We actually have a um, a demo here of the screen side by side, and we actuate the silver screen as well. But the problem with it is that if you think about it, it's cloth, yes, it's tensioned, mm -hmm. but it absorbs the, that's exactly the right. waves, that's right? right? So, um, so that, that's a really important thing. And um, you know, there's been issues with shakers before and stuff, so that was why you've got to make it really simple, full, you know, foolproof, and this thing's got to work. Um, the screen is very, very highly tensioned um, to help with that, obviously, yep. but obviously to help with the image as well. Mm. And so just finally, let's yeah. talk about availability. Um, so. We've been working on the screen for about seven years now. Um, and one of the things that's taken the time, we've had the technology and we know that the surface works, um, is actually the manufacturing process to make it immaculate. So you can't see any seams, um, the durability of it. Yep. Um, the, 
In the next year, we'll probably about have about 100 screens that are available. We have uh, four up right now globally. We have one in um, Beijing and uh, three in the US. Um, we soon to be putting up a 70, 70 footer in the US um, as a sort of showcase people can come and see it. Um, so for the next year, it'll be about 100 screens. And then as we ramp up uh, manufacturing, um, 2018 will probably be sort of 3,000 screens a year. Um, and obviously from then on. Um, so that's, that's a big part of what we've been doing. Um, obviously the, the micro perfs, you know, you need a laser cutter for those. It's a much more refined process. Um, and the seaming tables and stuff that we've that's built. Right. I can understand. Like we've you built need and designed from scratch. You've, so you've designed the, 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 the substrate and the surface and everything, but now we're, we're talking about designing the cost-effective manufacturing Correct. situations. Yeah. You know, it's like when you buy yeah. your first DVD, it's $1,000. Oh, that's right. And now they're 20 you know, That's you, exactly you right. You throw it away. And it's, everything evolves in its, its product line. So that, that's fantastic. And it's good to hear that you've the seven-year project is now bearing fruit. Absolutely. So congratulations thank to, you very much. to Real D for that. Anyway, thank you very much for ch ch talking to me. Oh, you're welcome. Um, and um, yep, so that's James Gardner at CinemaCon 2016 at the Real D booth with their brand new and pretty spectacular new screen. Bye for now.